Okay, here we are in Tinkercad, and um, I'm going to open the class, and we're going to go straight to the build a Tinkercad house. You might be done with this, you might not. A lot of folks were confused, so now we're trying to go on. Um, so click on build a Tinker house, and the first one says create the walls of the house. So we're going to click on that. And there's no magic to this. I'm just going to read the instructions. Um, it says, first you need to visualize the house. And down here is the instructions. It says, when you look at the image above, there are several characteristics. There should be a red rectangle, make the walls, the green triangle makes the roof, and there's an arch doorway. Um, through the arch doorway, you can see that the building is hollow. Continue to the next step. So we didn't have to do anything for that one. Then it says place a box on the work plane, and we need to make it um, 40 millimeters by 20 millimeters and 10 millimeters tall. Okay, so it's 20 tall, so let's take it down to 10. Whoops. There. And then we need to make it um, 40 long. Okay, whoops, get that. Okay, whoops, right in there. And we need to make it 20, whoops, 20 wide. So I don't know how wide it is. Oh, there, now we can see it. It's 20 by 40. That's exactly what we need to do. Go next. Then it says we need to... Um, hollow it out. So it says click on the red box to select it. So click on the red box. Select duplicate from the ed ed edit menu near the top of the screen. This made an exact copy and use the black dots, dot on the model um, to, shrink the, to shrink the second box um, one millimeter all around. So there we've got it hollowed, and then um, it says use the black dots on the model to shrink it. We did use the white dots on the top to increase the height several millimeters, so I haven't done that yet. I'll use this one. So I took it up a couple millimeters, um, and they're telling us to, that we're changing the height so that we can tell the difference between the two boxes, so it's very easy. So now I'll select next. And it says select the inner block and use the inspector um, dialog in the upper right of the graphics window to change it to hollow. So we've got that one selected and we're changing it. When it's complete, the inner block will be transparent like the image above, which hasn't yet loaded, but maybe yours will. Um, nope, not yet. Select both shapes and click the group button. So we select like this, go up to the group button right here. The result of the grouping is that the inner and the outer shapes, um, it'll become, it's pretty much just a hollow block, which you can see it's hollow. So that looks pretty good. And continue um, to the next, next one. Okay, create an arch doorway. Now, I believe that you can do this on your own. So continue. Um, reading on your own and you can you can make it without a video I all I'm doing is reading the instructions so that's what I'm gonna ask you to do